Now for this, I'm using a 240 43 type or 43 mix. Um, it's uh, a well documented um, toroid uh, that works particularly well in the uh, the HF bands. So that's the one I'm going to use, and I'm going to wind a 64 to one transformer. Okay. First things first, though, we need to know how much uh, copper we're going to use. So a trick I like to use here is to wind the toroid using some cable so that I know approximately how much we're going to be using. So here's our two initial turns and then from that we need to wind another 14. So I'm going to wind this with 1.8 mil. This one continues. Seven turns. Now, this is really thick copper I'm using here. Like I said, it's 1.8, nearly two mil. And therefore, it needs to be pulled really, really tight. Ever gonna get the number of turns on here that we need. tie wraps on that so that it doesn't move. So I fitted some tie wraps or rip zip ties or whatever to stop the coils from moving on the core and uh, I've bent the uh, the copper so that I can size it up in the box and uh, Okay, I see I'm going to need to strip the end and bend it back, strip that end, uh, strip it at the bend, and uh, let's have a quick, quick go at this a minute. Okay, I think I can get away with snipping it there. can see where I'm, where I'm going with that. Okay, I just need to uh, take the, uh, the 
the enamel off the ends of the cable and um, and then tin it, solder it in, glue it in and test it. So that's the next job. Them up. I'm going to put a bit of solder in them all because it just makes life a little bit easier when it comes to connecting. I must admit, I don't particularly like this tip I've put in here. It tends to act like a guillotine on the solder. Start with the pin.
Now this particular 64 to 1 is on its way to uh, the DX Commander. Got him. Oh, he was.